Hello guys, what's up? Smotus here, and now let's take a look over the Mother Russia in terms of customization of a special operator, because we're gonna do the Spetsnaz Operator. So, we have enough weapons, equipment to do the Spetsnaz Operator, and let's start by customizing the character, of course. We start with the mine weapon. The um, according to the Spetsnaz, I just searched a little bit to inform myself um, how the Spetsnaz equipment were in the 90s. We have three options here. Of course, the base weapon is the AKM, which is a generic one, and it's the mine weapon even still today in the Russian Federation Army. The AKS-74, which has more, um, let's say, NATO rounds, 5.86, and the AS wall. I don't know which one to choose, but the default one is the AKM, so let's use the AKM. Of course, with the silencer, because we are talking about a special operator for the Black Ops, kind of missions laser they will use laser green or laser red let's say green and because we have also two russian type of uh, scopes i will choose the ps0 or pso minus one nice uh let's remove the base skin uh, it doesn't look quite nice with this uh, wooden style stock. Um, maybe dark green? No. Okay, well, we, we're gonna deal this to, uh, later. In terms of the secondary weapon, we have two types. We have the Makarov and the CZ-75. CZ-75, it's not a Russian, a Russian based um Handgun, it's made in Czech Republic, former Czechoslovakia. But uh, Russian army use also the Makarov and the CZ-75. But um, to be in the, according to the Russian tradition, we are going to use something made specifically on the Russian territory. So we use the Makarov. And of course we add the silencer. And because we are talking a special operator. What is a silencer without some pistol laser green. In terms of grenades. We use the grenades. The med kits. And now let's move to the outfits. Well actually to the outfits. There are some. Uh, there are some changes. Because we have the Altin. Uh, helmet, which is standard in Russian uh, army or special forces. And we have also here the PSGT or even the AS6, which is also a Russian product. Which one? Well, in terms of Spetsnaz, it's Altin. Of course, and um, I need to put also some glasses and maybe also um, a mask, a gas mask. I don't know for what or use the gas mask because I didn't um, play a mission that uh, the gas mask is necessary. It's also just in terms of hide the face or is just for fancy design fancy look well we're gonna find out maybe later in the game now in terms of um, armor now uh, here the changes are PASGT Russian product of course and the jacket we have the CS95 which is not Russian but uh, it fits better okay and here we on the vest. Let's see the PLSA or the LBV. Hmm. Let's say LBV. And uh, in 
In the back, we have the RD-54. Uh, RD also, we have the Alice backpack that is very quiet, very uh, close to the Russian uh, infantry backpacks. So, we can use also this one. Well, this is in terms of outfits, of course. Now, we need to apply some camos. And because we are talking about the Russian Spetsnaz, we're going to use the disruptive pattern material because we have also the U.S. woodland. But that's very used as a standard in the U.S. Army. And the disruptive pattern material, which is used also in the European armies, I think this will fit better uh, for our Russian operator. So yeah, let's use the disruptive pattern material also on the helmet but the helmet it's not painted in the camo in the russian army it's painted differently we have the maki green olive or maybe dark green let's say olive green okay now in terms of the jacket the jacket will be also with camo and what will be not with camo, it's the LBV. LBV West has no camo. Camo, it's with, let's say, dark green details, dark green. And also the PSGT Vest has no uh, camo applied. And I think I should place also olive green. I think olive green, yes. And maybe also the CS jacket should have the dark green. I think. I don't know. Maybe. Now. Next. We have... Let's discuss about the weapons. I forgot something. Yes, I forgot. Oh, we cannot have a Spetsnaz Operator without some flags. Russian flags, of course. Uh, CSD-95 jacket. Let's put, apply the Russia flag. And now we have a uh, Spetsnaz operator. Now let's let's talk about a little bit the firearms. Well, uh, you know that Russia has one of the best and one of the best quality firearms industry around the world. So. We have two, three options here. We have also the PP-19, which is also another called the, uh, the um, Bison, which is uh, also a Russian-made uh, submachine gun. But in terms of AKM, AKSU, or as well, everyone, every of these three weapons fits perfect in the on the Spetsnaz operator. So I choose all the AKM because it's a more generic weapon and very usually widely in the um, Russian Federation Army. Now, uh, is there something is the face will be? Yeah, well, I think this is the Russian face, thunder face with blue eyes and very white Caucasian. And um, the voice will be, should be some. Tango. Uh, I don't know which voice is better for this operator, but I like it. I like the Spetsnaz operator, how it looks. And um, yes, why not? Why not use it in the battle? Look at him. He's prepared for the tough fighting. And he's coming from the east. Thank you very much for watching. And now, of course, let's save this one. Let's spit. Nos. Save preset. And let's close. This is the end of the video. Oh, of course, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time in another video. Of course, motors bye-bye. And... Las Vidania.